How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I would like to show you how to make a praying mantis enclosure. I did a video like this, um, I think my first video on this channel actually, on how to set up a praying mantis nymph enclosure, which is what you call a baby mantis. But this one will be more geared towards an adult mantis. This will work for babies, but it works best uh, for adults, as I said. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a good container for the mantis. Of course, depending on the size, you don't need it super big. Here's my uh, adult mantis that I'm making this container for, which up until now has lived in this little 32 ounce cup. So these will work. I just wanted to upgrade a little bit. Just make sure it's big enough and adequate for the size of your mantis. Now you can also just use like a glass box or one of those big jars, but I'm just using this because it's easy. It's got an easy top that you can take off in like literally a second. So anyway, let's get right into it and start setting up the cage. All right, so before we actually start setting up the container, we wanna make sure it's a little bit clean. And also I had this before as another enclosure, so I had a little dirt in the bottom. So you wanna make sure you rinse it just to make sure there isn't anything inside. All right, so after rinsing, you can see that it's pretty clean now. There's no stuff in the bottom anymore. Um, now, next step is to drill some holes. I'm just gonna drill maybe some eighth inch holes or something on the right side here and on the left side. The reason is you want some good circulation through. If you do it in one spot, sometimes there'll be a stagnant a spot of air in the middle of the tank somewhere. Um, also, don't stress too much about this because a lot of people say that you have to put holes in the container of your insects. But honestly, their lungs are so incredibly small, you don't have to worry about this too much. You could probably see a Lamantis in a container like this for a week, and it'd be fine. Um, I'm not saying you should do that, I'm just saying that it's not that big of a deal. So, I'm gonna go drill some holes in the shop, I'll be back in a second. Alright, I decided I'm gonna show this because it's part of the process, so... Basically, what I suggest doing is getting like an eighth inch drill bit, I think this is a little bigger. Um, but I just got it in a simple drill here, and I have a piece of like... This is like a rubber mat kind of behind or something like that just so you don't damage your drill bit if you go through concrete. All right, next I have like a little um, countersink chucked up in the drill here just so I can remove these little extra bits of plastic. All right, so as you can see, we've just drilled the holes. I did countersink them so there aren't any major burrs around them. Um, so now, finally, we can get to actually setting this thing up. First thing you want, well, at least what I use, is paper towel. This is like five or six layers. You don't need nearly that much. I just do it to hold more humidity. And then I actually have some screen. I'm gonna go show you that in a second. So this is what I meant by screen. It's like this like mesh stuff. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Anyway, we're gonna cut a square, or sorry, a rectangle for this top, and we're gonna hot glue it on. That way the mantis will have like a good, like a surface to like put their little feet on, you know, cause this is easier for them to hold onto than some slick plastic. Okay, so while I put this paper towel in, I just wanna explain real quick that this is not the only way of doing this. You can do whatever you want. You can put like, I think it's called like Eco Earth or like that coconut fiber stuff you put in the bottom. You can do that and you can put all kinds of sticks, which I'll probably do. Um, but I'm just doing this because this is what I normally do. Uh, and if you follow along, that's great. Okay, so as you can see, I've just switched to a new angle so you can see this better. I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dab on each uh, corner. That way it holds it nice and tight. Okay, so as you can see, we've just glued the screen onto the lid here. It has dried, so now it's basically done. I'm just gonna decorate it with some sticks so it's ready for the mantis. I got my stick here. I'm just using a stick from outside. A lot of people will say you can't do this, but I caught her wild, so I guess it's okay for this one. Um, if you are worried about that, just buy some sticks um, that are already clean, or you can also just boil them. So I'm gonna put my mantis in. This is a, a adult female Mediterranean mantis. So pretty cool. I'm gonna put her in. There, she likes it. So as you can see there, she's on the roof now. Um, that's a good opportunity to show you how well the screen actually works. Their feet kind of bond to it really well. Anyway, that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this helped you, make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, little tip. Uh, when it burns you, you know it's ready. I'm joking. Don't don't do that, please.